Hi everyone, in this video, I will introduce how to use our Unitree Lag SDK to control our robot dogs. I will introduce from these parts. Firstly, I will give you a brief introduction. Unitree writes the methods to control Unitree robot dogs in Unitree Lag SDK in order to better use it to control our robot dogs. We need to understand the basic framework of the Unitree robot dogs before we using it. This picture we can see these are almost all our robots. The basic framework of the control we provide are all named Unitree Legged SDK. But not a signal routine can control all robots. You can see in GitHub that different versions of Unitree Legged SDK control different robots. And you need to pay attention to why the software version meets the requirements of the routine. We can see here, we can confirm the version of our products. No matter it's Alien Go, A1, Go1, B1, the type of computer on them can be divided into three categories. And next is an example of our Go1. This picture we can see the Unitree Lag SDK can be divided into three main board, main board, main control board, sport control board, and perception control board. Main control board controls the model via RS485. Each board is connected to the switch through UDP. Each of these boards is assigned an IP address, such as the 123 network segment above. Unitree has wrote the corresponding UDP send and receive functions in Unitree Legged SDK. So we can put the routine on any board to run, except the main control board. Pay attention, the main control board is not opened. You can connect to the robot system either wired or wirelessly and then use the routine. We also provide the above routines for high-level and low-level control of the robot dog for obtaining remote control messages. Next part is about how to download. We can download from this website. We need to be sure of the version of our robot dogs as well as the laggard sport version and firmware version. If a different version is used, the boat will not work even if the completion passes. In this videos, I will show how to confirm the version of our robot dogs. This video is about how to confirm the version of lagged sport. You need to use your personal computers to connect the wireless internet of our robot dogs. The password is 80 and then you need to enter into an IP address. The next video is about how to confirm the version of firmware. You need to use your phone to connect the wireless internet of our robot dogs. The password is also H0. Besides, we also need to install this. Here are the libraries that the SDK depends on, and this is shows how to install the IOCM. This shows the steps to compile the SDK, and the usage need to be at pseudo procedures before we using it. Next part is about how to do compilation. These videos will show how to do it.
Next, I will introduce how to run. Look at this video. Okay, this over. Next part is about the routine analysis. In this video, the robot dog is controlled by high level. The high level is the robot dog can be viewed as an object. You can give instructions such as speed and so on directly to them. You, you have no need to build complex dynamics controllers. And this video shows low level. The low level is the models can be viewed as the object which controls the robot dog through three loops, speed, position, and torque. This is about high level. The target set of the high level code is a Raspberry Pi. So you need to confirm why the communication between you and the robot dog is weld or wireless connection before we use it. If it is weld, you need to change the IP of the location in the picture to this address. If it is wirelessly, you need to change the IP address of the location in the picture to this address. When using the low level, it is necessary to switch the robot to normal saturation. When the robot is turned on and stands up on its own, you need to press L2 plus B. Press them at the same time. The robot will light on and then press L1 plus L2 plus start buttons. You need to press them at the same time. At this point, you can run the routine. If you use a wired network to use the underlying code, then the robot will be able to control. The underlying code is sending commands directly to the main control board, this address. So if you connect to the robot via wireless internet and then operate the underlying control code, the robot will not respond if it is wireless you need to change the IP address of the location in the picture to this address. And if you want to run the low-level code on your own computer by wireless internet, you need to perform the following network bridging steps, these steps. And next is the video to show how to do it.
Okay, this picture shows the coat structure of the high level and the low level. They are both similar, so let's take the high level routine as an example and explain the code briefly. Let's look directly at the main function. Here, three threads are created and three functions of the customer class are bound to each other of them. UDP send and UDP receive are used for communication. We just put the control logic in robot control. And we also need to focus on the two structure variables in custom, cust, custom as above. The CMD contains comments to control the robot. The state provides feedback on the current status of the robot UDP send and UDP receive are used for communication. Get receive located in robot control top, top corner which puts the robot status information back into state and then we can get the robot status by accessing the members of state and you also can export the robot data, output the robot data it can op op output data such as I'm you, food and sensors and so on details can be found in the coma.h file and here, set stand located in robot controls button, 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 the page button, and which sends the comments used to control the robot out by UDP. We put the logic to control the robot in the middle of these two functions, and the logic in the course is contained in a series of if state net TSP. Motion time is a cumulative variable that enters different if statements depending on its value and then modifies the value of the corresponding CMD member according to the desired command. Next part is about the interface analysis. In this file, we define each structure and each definition allows you to understand exactly what interfaces are open to the robot and how we assign values to the member variables of the body. Safety.h defines the protection function in the bottom mode of Unitrelect SDK, which mainly contains power protection and position protection. Protection is a software way to reduce the probability of equipment failure caused by abnormal torque, and it is recommended that newcomers are added. After subsequent skew, you cannot use the protection function. The function in safety.h is only a software protection means and does not guarantee that all can be effectively protected. Our bottom control needs to be careful not to output abnormally large talk. And power protect is mainly power protection using the principle of P equal to FW, FV torque angular velocity according to the empirical value is divided into 2 to 10 fires. You can slowly add when using it. That's all the brief introduction of using our unitary lag SDK to control our robot dogs. If you have some questions, please contact us from the following ways. Thank you for listening.